Do you need to select several options? Hi, welcome back to the YAWL tutorials. My name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. Today we are going to talk about the OR split. The OR split is one of three ways to split the control flow in YAWL and it allows us to choose one or more of the subsequent branches. We will start with a very simple example in an Italian restaurant an automatic ordering process. And I have already prepared the YAWL specification for you and you can find this down in the link to the supplementary material. So let's dig into it. So we will first um, load the YBKP file from the supplementary material. In order to do that, um, we go to the control center here and go to org data, click on this um, upload from backup file, and then just drag and drop the YBKP file from the supplementary material. And let's look what we have. We have um, participant LOM. Lorenzo Monaco and um, this uh, user is also an administrator. So what we can do right now is we can log out as the YAWL admin and log in with this LOM user, password pass, P-A-S-S. -S. And then we have um, an extended menu because we have the admin menu and we also have the user menu um, with the my work list and, and, and so on and so forth. So next thing is we will go to the YAWL editor and we will upload the tutorial 8 start YAWL. And here we have a specification that is prepared. <coughs> and here we have a specification that is already prepared. Um, we have some data definitions here that we will use for the menu topic and um, we will start editing the, um, these, uh, these workflows now. And the first thing um, we can do, um, by the way, uh, we can just um, activate the task decorators toolbar now. And um, so decide on menu. What we want to do is we want to choose a main course every time and choose entree and choose dessert should be optional. And for this purpose, um, the OR split is exactly what we need. So we click on this one here and we get this OR split now. And um, we have to connect it um, to these tasks. So choose entree, choose main. Um, choose dessert and then the order task this is the or join so we go like this okay now to specify the logic um, we go to decide on menu and go down to the split predicates and we have three flows. And um, you can see that um, every time that we click on one of them, um, one of these arrows becomes green. And the choose main, this is something that we want to do all the time. And here it says the bottommost flow is the default. And what we can do is we can just select the choose main predicate here and just move it to the bottom. Because this will always be true, because one of these branches must be true, and it's the bottommost flow which is always true. Then for the other um, choose dessert, choose entree, etc., we can also change the order, but it's not necessary. Um, let's say choose entree, we can now specify the predicate. And if we click on this predicate on the right hand side, click on these three dots. 
um, we now have the possibility to choose a variable here and the variables have already been prepared in the specification and there is um, something that is called entree selected and entree selected is a boolean variable and if we click on these two concentric circles here we get uh, an xquery expression that says net entree selected text and this is the content of this net variable here and we have to check if this is equal to true and we do the same thing for the choose dessert so dessert selected and see if this is equal to true and that's it so let's see what happens if we upload this to the YAWL engine so we upload it here launch a new case with case ID 1 and now we go to the control center here and um, we go to the case management and we see that tutorial 8 start specification is uh, has a running case here case ID 1 and in the admin work list what we can do now the decide on menu we can just offer it um, to the user we are currently logged in with so this is Lorenzo Monaco and we offer it here and then if we go to my work list we can see that decide on menu is the first work item here so we start this one we open it and now um, we can edit the work item and we just have two variables entree selected and dessert selected so let's say today um, we don't want to have an entree but we definitely like a dessert so dessert selected we complete it and now what happens um, if we refresh here we can see now that choose main and choose dessert are active now and um, choose entree is not active because we didn't choose it and so let's first choose the main um, so we have a selection here let's uh, let's take uh, bistecca di manzo and the dessert um, we have tiramisu and uh, let's take uh, dolci della casa and now if we refresh we come to the order task here and now we can see Bistecca di Manzo and Dolce della Casa That's, this is what we order and we complete the workflow that's it that's all today we have dealt with the basics of the OR split which is an inclusive OR the next video will be on the XOR split the exclusive OR Thanks for watching.